Hey everybody, John Wagnon here with uh, Dev Central, and we are continuing our Whiteboard Wednesday videos with load balancing algorithms. And today we're going to talk about least sessions and ratio sessions uh, load balancing algorithms. So we have here our big IP platform again. And, uh, and again, the question is, as connections come in, where are they going to go? So I'm going to draw three uh, back-end servers here as an example. And we're going to talk about uh, least sessions first. So on least sessions, uh, uh, it uses the persistence table, not the connection table. So a lot of these uh, algorithms that we've talked about before use the connection table to make decisions on which backend server to load balance to. This one actually uses the persistence table. So obviously you have to have persistence turned on, um, which by the way, you can't use a passive persistence like cookie or carp, those types of things uh, in order for this to work. So just a heads up on that. But really quick, as, as, a, uh, as an example, um, the Big IP is, gonna, is going to keep a uh, connection table and a persistence table for each of these backend servers. So I'm going to put a C right here and a P right here for each of these guys. Um, and then we're going to look at how many connections does this one have and, how and, and, and what's the persistence uh, record on each of these as well. So for this one, let's say it has 100 connections but only 10 of them are persisted, for example. Let's say this guy has uh, 50 connections and um, say 20 of them are persisted. And then let's say this guy has 75 connections and let's say 20 of them are persisted as well. And so, okay, so when a connection comes in, I guess first of all, if a, if a connection comes in and it, is, and it has a persistence record on it, if it, if it is a uh, persisted connection, it's going to go to whatever server it's persisted to. So this is a, uh, this is a new connection that doesn't have a, uh, a persistence. So a new connection uh, comes in to the big IP and you have least session, again, load balancing turned on, where is it gonna go? So with least session, the big IP is going to look at the persistence table of each of these backend servers and it's going to say which one has the least number of persistence uh, records. And in this case, it's this server over here. So this uh, new connection is going to come to this server. All righty. So, yeah, and then, and then uh, uh, it's just going to continue to look at the persistence records uh, for each of the backend servers and that's where it's going to load balance, again, for least sessions. So. Uh, so that's the least session load balancing algorithm. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to erase this one really quick, and we're going to look at uh, the next one is, uh, is what's called ratio sessions. Very similar to least sessions, except in this case, you need to put ratios on each of your servers. And so on the ratio sessions, let's say this one has a ratio of 1. I'm just going to keep this simple. We'll go 1, 2, and 3. So very, very much like the ratio uh, load balancing that we've talked about before, um, whereas before it looked at the connection number and balanced according to the ratio that you put on each of the backend servers, this one is going to, to balance, again, using that ratio uh, algorithm, but it's going to look at the persistence table. So in this case, this one has uh, 10 persisted records, this one has 20, and this one also has 20. So the question is, um, where's the next connection going to come? So as a connection comes in, uh, th these two actually are balanced exactly the way that they need to be according to the ratio. This one has 10, and then this one, this one has 20, so this one has twice as many as this one, which is, which is balanced according to the ratio. But this one has 20, whereas it actually has a ratio of 3, so it's going to need 10 more persisted records before it balances out correctly based on the ratio. So as this one comes in, uh, the next one comes in, it's actually going to load balance right over here uh, to this server. And, uh, and so it's going to continue that until this has 30 persisted records and then everything is balanced according to the ratio. Um, so again, so that's ratio sessions versus least sessions. A couple of things to mention about these, the least session uh, load balancing algorithm, it's when you have similar resources on your backend servers. Um, and then the ratio sessions, like we've talked about before, you have dissimilar resources. So maybe your servers are, you know, more capable, you know, one's more capable than another, one's more powerful than another, that kind of thing. So that's where you would kind of uh, put the ratio weights on there. Uh, so again, least sessions versus ratio sessions looks at the persistence table instead of the connection table. 
So it's good to know kind of how all these things work. It's good to know uh, that you have all these different options on load balancing algorithms. And so just to wrap things up really quick uh, and, and to sort of review everything we've talked about, we've talked about the, um, uh, all, the, all these different load balancing algorithms on the LTM. Uh, we looked at just basic round robin. We looked at least connections. We looked at uh, weighted. We looked at ratio, we looked at weighted least connection. There's all these different combinations. Then today we talked about least session, ratio session. So again, get out there, check it out. There's all kinds of different uh, uh, load balancing algorithms that you can take advantage of on the LTM. Another, another plug I'll say just really quick is we're gonna start a new, um, a new series similar to this, except we're gonna talk about GTM load balancing. So, uh, so stay tuned for that. So we appreciate you watching the, uh, the Whiteboard Wednesdays and uh, I will see you out there in the community.